In this video, we are going to see an interesting way of representing the sets and it's very intuitive and easy to understand the concepts and this is called Venn Diagram. So in Venn Diagram, elements are represented as points in a plane and the sets are represented as closed regions, regions enclosing those points. So this is a set. So usually we denote this by circles, these closed curves and inside we have the elements of the set. So this is a set, let's say X and these are the elements of the set. So let's see some concrete example, then it will be more clear. Let's say we have two sets, one, two, three, then set B, which consists of five, six, seven. Then if we have to represent this as Venn diagram, we will draw two circles corresponding to two sets. Then A has 1, 2 and 3 and B has 5, 6 and 7. And there is no element common to, the, to uh, these two uh, sets. So these two circles are disconnected. Uh, now, uh, and we usually denote everything inside a rectangular region, which we call this universal set and we denote it by U. So in a given context, uh, the elements of the set can take only fixed value and all the possible values, the union of all those possible values, we call the universal set. Now let's take another example and this time we will have some common elements. Let's say we have one set P is equal to one, two, three, four and set Q has 3, 4 and 8, 9. So we see that 3, 4 is common to both of these. So we will first draw P and some common region because we know there is some common element. So first write the common elements 3 and 4. So this 3 and 4 is part of this circle. as well as this circle, this blue one. Now, 1 and 2 only belongs to P and Q. So we will write it here. Similarly, 8 and 9 only belongs to Q but not in P. So we will write 8 and 9 here. So in this way, we will uh, represent the sets using a Venn diagram. We can have even more sets. For example, we can have one set second set and there may be a third set. So this region is common to all of these three. So all the elements which are common to all of these three, we will write it here. Elements common to A and B, we will write in this part. Elements common to A and C here and similarly elements which are common to B and C, we will write here. And this part will have the elements which just belongs to A and does not belong to B and C, similarly for B and C. So uh, this is a very uh, in, in, uh, good way, intuitive way of uh, representing the sets and we will use it throughout the course for understanding the various concepts in set theory. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel for my future videos.